part three. Green. I cut in half then, pull. Oops. Time for charms. Pearls. Saving this spot for later. I am whitening all of my containers. All done. Organizing my beads. Part four, red and yellows. Cut and pull. I like this orange. Pull time. Adding white as usual. All done. More coming soon. Organizing my beads. So it's restock day because some of our pinks are slacking. Some of them are completely gone. Some of them are kind of low. And then some of them we still have a decent amount of. Hot pink. That's Sophia's color. My fave. It's the best. It's the best out of them. <laughs> she cuts it and then I pull it. And then she also films. This one kind of went everywhere. <laughs> okay, this next color might drive some of you guys crazy, but I think it's so cute. Oh, wait, not hot pink. Baby beads. Baby beads. Little baby. They're so cute. I think they still needed to be in here. They're so cute. They're so little. Mm -hmm. Anyways, here's our lighter pink. I didn't want to mix the lighter pink in with the other lighter pink because they're slightly different. Here's my neon pink. I love it so much. It's the best. Mm -hmm. Well, besides mine. Better. No, mine's best. And then now we're sucking the white. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're all done. Yeah. Surprise. My uncle messaged me saying he wants to get something for his daughter, aka my cousin. It is actually perfect timing because we just opened our new launch and so he picked some things out that he think she would like and I totally agree with his choices. So we gathered everything up. We got all our packing supplies. We're gonna pack package these two together. We actually just got new packaging which is so exciting and so fun. We're gonna put these two together and since it's a set, we're gonna staple it. I accidentally did the staple too high but it's okay because we're gonna cover it with a sticker. Write our thank you note and I love this but it's so sparkly. Then we're gonna get our freebies together, little thank you cards, some stickers, a high chew. And I actually have to show you what I made. I made this little cute coupon, but on the back, what you guys see, a little thing you could hang up for your wall collage. And I'm gonna change it out every month. You guys can get like a little nice collection and I'm gonna be putting them out too. Anyway, so we put everything in the bag. I'm gonna take off that sticker, seal it up, put more stickers on. But I'm excited for my cousin. Also, glad she doesn't have TikTok so she can't see this. Giving the avocado a home. It's going to a better place. Picking out the right color of greens. One more. Spin, spin. All done. Happy avocado. Should I sell it on my shop? I spent $50 more on beads. This is what we got. Charm time! I love this batch of charms. Turtles! I love the shells. Containers are small, but I have other ones. Stickers! I finally have all my blue beads now I can organize Shiny. them. Light work, no reaction. Light work, no reaction. Ooh. Okay, it's got a little kick. Oh. It's brutal out of here. Guess you didn't cheat, but you're still a traitor. I got my driver's license last week. It's always one step forward and three steps back.
spent $100 on beads, and this is what I got. Lots of cool colors for spring and summer. Now for the charms. Organizing our beads. Rainbow. Working on the pinks. This is how I put them in the storage. Time for pearls. White in all of the containers. Yes, scoop approved. Organizing my beads. Part three. Green. I cut in half, then pull. Oops. Time for charms. Pearls. Saving this spot for later. I am whiting all of my containers. All done. Organizing my beads. Part four, red and yellows. Cut and pull. I like this orange. Pearl time. Adding white as usual. All done. More coming soon. Pink, pink, pink. Glitter, glitter, glitter. Together. We're Linda. you can get for 10 cents. Broken turtle. Freebie. Time to ship it. Made with love.
Why are your bracelets so expensive? I've gotten a couple of these comments, so let's talk about it. There's a couple of key factors that go into the pricing of my bracelets. Within the small business or business in general, they need to calculate how much supplies it's going to cost. Along with cost, it also takes time. Using this two-step formula, you can go ahead and calculate how much you want to sell your bracelets. We chose to sell ours within the $5 range, and we even have some cheaper than that. Our bracelets also take about 10 to 15 minutes each to make, and this doesn't include taking pictures of them or videos. I also wish we could sell them for super cheap, but it's not quite realistic. Another thing that tends to add up is packaging. Now, packaging is something I want to change for the world, and I love it so much. But all these little things slowly add up. But it makes it super fun to give, and it's fun to receive. When you buy from a small business, you're buying more than just an item, and we appreciate it so much. Today's a little different. I made a bracelet generator and it's time to roll some numbers. So we're going to be picking three colors. We picked blue, light yellow, and then teal. Now it's time to move on to charms. Let's see what we get. We got shell. All right, let's go ahead and pick out our colors. So again, we got blue and I'm using this blue here. I think it's the prettiest. And then this teal and then this yellow. It looks brighter, but I promise it's actually really light. I'm gonna go ahead and cut our string and then we're gonna thread it to the eye of the needle and use my bead spinner. This was a little trickier just because I didn't have a ton of beads in there. We filled it up and we're gonna measure it. But this is kind of a fun process. I've actually really liked using the generator so far. I'm gonna put pearls and then our shell charm. After putting those on, it's time to tie it and then we just tie it a bunch of times. And then we're gonna stretch it out to make sure it's good. And then cut it. It reminds me of the little mermaid, but yeah, I'm excited to do more of these. This listing is now live on my Etsy if you guys want to join.
about to tie a bracelet together. So first, I just basically do granny knot and make an X and then loop it under and then pull. The second knot's actually just slightly different. I still make that X and then put it through the loop. But instead of pulling it, I actually put it through the loop again. And I believe this is called a surgeon's knot. And then I just pull it. We're going to make that same knot again. So I make an X, put it through the loop. And then I put it through the loop again. And then I pull. And then to finish it off, I'm just going to make another granny knot, which is just a normal basic knot where you make an X, you put it through the loop, and then you pull it. But it seriously depends on what string you use. We used a white elastic string. It's so nice. You could seriously get it from anywhere. And then we just cut it, and then it's good. <laughs> That's cute. I wish I could get it, but... Thank you. 